Welcome back to WSBA Morning News, the Thursday morning edition here with Gary Sutton. WSBA News Time is 707. A lot of people are hearing about the Zika virus uh, with the Olympic Games coming up in Rio this summer. Uh, there's all kinds of concern about that. We're seeing Florida be the leading edge right now of these uh, mosquitoes that are carrying this virus. Uh, a lot of people are asking for more funding for the federal government. So with all that swirling around us, so to speak, and summer coming and mosquitoes being a concern for us, I thought... What better thing to do than talk to a mosquito expert? And, and more importantly, there's something out there called Frankenskeeters. Yeah, Frankenskeeters. Uh, what's that all about? I had to call this guy, Steve Mosquito McKe- Mosquito Steve Moore, who's kind of a mosquito f- expert. He's with us this morning here live from Texas. Good morning, Steve. How you doing? I'm great, Gary. How are you? I am doing well. Do we call you Skeeter Steve or do we just call you Steve? You can call me whatever you want. But yeah, Mosquito Steve. It's a, it was a nickname long before I actually made it part of my business. So. How do you how do you get into the the business of mosquitoes? That's what I got to know. Well, I actually got into the business of mosquitoes accidentally. I had a remodeling company and then ended up in the misting business and then started doing research and development. And um, and what sets me apart and the reason people call me Mosquito Steve is because I stand outside and I count how many mosquitoes land on me. And I'll do that for hours and hours at a time. I've done hundreds and hundreds of tests. And so I test my products. I test other people's products. So I test products to see how well they work in the real world. Wow. So you're the guy out there and it's saying okay this spray works this spray doesn't all that kind of stuff right exactly and i've had as many as 900 mosquito bites in one night oh my goodness uh, yeah. uh, lord that, that's 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 unbelievable well earlier this month i saw the fda made available a draft environmental assessment predicting that the release of genetically engineered mosquitoes in key haven florida would have no significant impact which means that the approval for the release is imminent uh what are these genetically modified mosquitoes what are they supposed to do what's their purpose well the purpose is is that they go mate with the females and yet no eggs are laid so eventually it kills off the species that's the that's the plan um any efforts we've made to kill off a species of mosquito has not been effective so far so so far science has not proven in fact most of the killer products that we're spraying around the country and right. around the world are not having the effect that we want them to have and so um so and they have the problem is is there there's a lot of you know dragonflies and birds and bats and all kinds of, of uh, animals that that feed on mosquitoes so getting rid of them is not necessarily um the answer but the other problem is that there are at least 40 different species of mosquitoes in the United States. And so you're going to have to have a genetically modified mosquito for each different species. Now we're talking about, you know, hundreds and hundreds of millions of mosquitoes genetically modified we're going to release in the environment. And that, to me, sounds scary. <laughs> I read something somewhere here, Steve, that uh, the Zika virus is, is linked to the release of a, a mosquito. I think, I think it's called oxytex gm mosquitoes they were genetically modified mosquitoes in in brazil three years ago and they were actually produced to combat a a certain kind of fever down there and so actually these disease carrying mosquitoes that we hear about with regard to the zika virus right now were actually the same thing was done to them that they're talking about doing with these franken mosquitoes now am i right that is right. And so um, so the Aedes aegypti and the Aedes albopictus mosquitoes are the ones. Um, a lot of people call it Asian tiger is, is uh, one of the common names. The other one's the yellow fever mosquito. And so those are the ones that we've got to worry about carrying the Zika. But here's the problem. The Zika virus has already crossed over into the Culex mosquito. Now, the Culex mosquito is the one responsible for the, the spread of West Nile virus in the U.S. And so once that uh, the Culex mosquito with uh, Zika is caught in America, once that starts up here, then the spread of the Zika virus is, is imminent across the U.S. And so, um, so what do we do? So then we have to come up with a Culex genetically modified mosquito. I mean, that's the problem is that where do we stop it just keeps on going and going and going and i saw a recent study that came out of brazil and obviously a lot of people are concerned about brazil because of rio this summer and uh, all these people from all over the world coming in there what they might take away with it but they said that uh 
this was, you know, this mosquito was genetically modified there in order to fight, is it dengue fever? Is that the way you say it, or dengue fever? Yes, dengue fever. And it's actually been, you know, we've had dengue fever in the U.S. down in South Texas. Right. So it's crossed into Texas, and it's just a matter of time before that's something. Well, that's a really serious one. We now, now, what is that, what is that really fever about, Steve? I mean, what's that, what are the symptoms there? Well, the symptoms are, um, the, and the problem is, it's not necessarily the same symptoms, it's what it is. So, like, with West Nile virus, one in a thousand people may show symptoms. Okay. And then out of those one in a thousand symptoms, you know, uh, one in a thousand of them are going to have a serious version of West Nile virus. So, uh, with chikungunya, you've got 95% of the people that get chikungunya actually show symptoms. And so, uh, with dengue fever, it's even worse. So, with dengue fever, you may not have as many show symptoms, but the ones that do get it, there's a lot more deaths associated to dengue fever. And so, you know, we, uh, West Nile virus and Zika virus are, are calm compared to dengue fever. Dengue fever is very deadly, and so that's why, you know, if that crosses here, then we've really got... Oh, man. Um, yeah, it's it. Yeah. Steve, that's, about that's 45 great. seconds left. I want to ask you, should we be messing around here and genetically modify these bugs, or should we let the disease play out and, you know, deal with, with other maybe more, oh, I don't know, uh, regular kinds of ways of combating it? Your thoughts here, about 30 seconds. Okay, I just think that we ought to just protect ourselves. Wear repellent. Um, use repellents in your yard. Um, and so that that's one of the things I've been doing research on. We can actually control mosquitoes better by repelling them by killing them. Killing them has never worked for us. We've tried it for, for many years, and we've, we're not doing it. It's and not you working. not try at home getting 900 bites at a night. Uh, you are you are a professional, right? You are a professional with the skeeters, and uh, just uh, yeah, but appreciate the work you're doing out there, man. I'm just glad I'm not in your business, okay? <laughs> thank you, Steve. We'll talk again sometime. Thanks for taking the time to be with us this morning. All right, thank you. Take care, mosquito Steve Moore with us this morning on uh, genetically modified mosquitoes, and that's what those bugs were that came out of Brazil that are carrying the Zika virus. They were genetically modified. How'd that work out?